Fecal flotation concentration, zinc sulfate method. Fecal examination, test algorithm. Purpose separates protozoan cysts, oocysts, and eggs from exist debris using zinc sulfate based on difference in specific gravity. Principle Zinc sulfate has higher specific gravity than parasite. Parasite rises to surface, whereas debris sink to bottom. Use one loosely woven straining gauze. Gauze is loosely woven with eight ply. Using more than one gauze captures parasites, especially in mucoid stool. False negative results. Use 15 ml screw cap falcon tubes. Strain fecal suspension through gauze. To rinse fecal suspension, add few mLs of 10% formalin on the gauze until falcon tube is 10 mL filled. Carefully remove and dispose the mounted gauze and the fecal matter within. Unclamp tube, close tightly and centrifuge at 500 G for 10 minutes. Take tube out of centrifuge, observe for sediment and supernatant. Decan supernatant. Add 2 ml of zinc sulfate. Close tube tightly and mix thoroughly. Dislodge sediment using wooden applicator if needed. Fill tube with zinc sulfate to within 2 to 3 millimeters of rim.
Mix well and centrifuge at 500 G for 2 minutes. For maximum detection of parasites, examine surface film and sediment. Prepare wire loop by bending its circle to become perpendicular with a shaft of loop. First, start examining surface film within 5 minutes of stop of centrifuge, otherwise floating excess will sink. Without removing tube from centrifuge, Gently touch surface layer by a bent loop and apply on a clean labeled slide. As an alternative to loop, Pasteur pipette can be used to remove 1 to 2 drops from surface and place on a slide. Add a 22 times 22 mm cover slip. Secondly, examine sediment for heavy eggs. Decan supernatant, zinc sulfate layer. Mix well. Add one drop of sediment onto a glass slide. Apply a 22 times 22 mm cover slip. Scan under microscope at 10x objective. Turn to 40x to confirm suspected objects. At least one third of slide should be scanned under 40x. Add one to two drops of Dantoni's iodine to sediment to enhance morphological details. Mix well. Again, with a pastel pipette, add a drop of sediment iodine mix onto a clean labeled slide. Iodine trichrome stain can also be used as described in ethyl acetate sedimentation video. Apply a 22 times 22 mm cover slip. Scan under microscope at 10x objective. Turn to 40x to confirm suspected objects. At least one third of slide should be scanned under 40x. 100 microliters of puffy coat added to fecal suspension. RBCs and white BCs behave like parasites. They float. Advantages More effective for detecting protozoan cysts such as Giardia duodenalis and amoeba species as well as Hymenolipis nana and hookworm eggs with a specific gravity of less than 1.18 Detects light helminth eggs such as Trichura trichura and Enterobius vermicularis with a specific gravity less than 1.18 Produces a cleaner material than sedimentation technique Disadvantages Schistosoma and operculated eggs like Diphylobuthrium latum and Fasciolopsis bosci are unlikely to be detected by flotation. Schistosoma egg is dense. On the other hand, operculum opens allowing zinc sulfate in to fill egg and sink it to bottom. Not effective for large trematode eggs, some tapeworm eggs and infertile Ascaris lambricoides eggs with a specific gravity greater than 1.2. Zinc sulfate is a hypertonic solution, causing lysis of membrane of some parasites, leading to collapse of eggs and cysts, such as blastocystis species. Unsuitable for trophozoites. Unsuitable for fatty stool. Float and sediment should be examined. <laughs>